All right, guys, Freddy Fabricate here again. And today we're gonna finish up part two of the year. So I bought this adapter off eBay, basically has the Euro connector built into it. I'm gonna bolt this to the front of the Dan MIG welder, probably somewhere down here, something a little out of the way. And what I'd like to be able to do uh, in part one, I made up all these wires coming out of the spool gun adapter but I don't want to have to switch in and out uh, the two guns. I use this welder all the time for steel. I'd like to be able to eventually mount two tanks on the back, two regulators, and get that all set up. But for now, I'm going to see if I could just uh, switch out the gas, leave the regulator, switch it to um, you know the argon mix, uh, the proper argon mix for aluminum MIG, and go from there. Pull the cover off. Doesn't seem to be attached to uh, this part at all, but I believe once um, this gets threaded on the front, it'll pull it and lock it to this little plastic piece. And I'll make up some sort of heavy duty bracket maybe on the inside to hold this part. All right, here we are inside the Dan MIG welder. Um, you can see I got my two wires here for my solenoid for my gas valve two wires here 24 volts I believe they are on this guy um, for my drive motor and I'm going to mount I have a little bit of room down here as you can see I'll just move that out of the way a little bit and I'll drill a hole and mount the euro connector down on the bottom should be good all right I got my box of hole saws Open these up, <clears throat> see what I got in here. Uh, looks like that's gonna be too big. Uh, fortunately, don't have any. Got this little guy. Uh, that looks just about right. Let me find the arbor. I could get that without the locks on there, just screwed on. I think we should be good to go. I just used the cover that's gonna be mounted on the outside. It's actually identical to this old one, believe it or not. This one's cracked and kind of beat up. And I made this here just as support because this kept breaking. <clears throat> but anyway, let's just get this mounted for now. I'll worry about extra support later. Uh, as you can see, I marked the holes here. Got the three bolt holes. I just kind of lined it up from the front looking over the top where it's gonna land. And then same thing from the side where it's gonna be. And just hope for the best. Well, that did not go well at all. Here's the drill bit that came with the hole saw. Uh, the minute the hole saw contacted the welder, the drill bit just snapped in half. So I went to go get the same size drill bit out of my Norse Magnum kit. And I'm gonna put this one in. Hopefully it goes better than the first one. Okay, so I got the plastic housing mounted up. Um, I just put a couple quarter 20 bolts through for now. I don't have the nuts on the back. I'm taking the Euro connector, kind of wiggling it around till I could feed it in there. Kind of goes a little deeper than I would have liked. Um, so I'm gonna need that bracket in the back. I'll show you in a minute. I'm gonna come around here. I'm just gonna make some sort of a steel bracket coming down and then I could set the depth so that the front, the front of this will screw in. So I had a guess somewhere around there, but I'll play around with it until I get it where I want. So I dug this out of my plumbing parts bin. Um, I got a couple little mini ball valves here. Um, I have some 1 8 NPT and 1 8 hose barb nipples uh my problem is right now 
these don't mate up as you can see um this is a female side of the valve but it's one quarter npt these are one eighth so i got to do some more digging if i can't come up with a way to connect all this um i'm gonna have to make a trip to home depot i think but basically i want to put a t into my gas line um so that one solenoid goes that so the gas will go into the solenoid on the welder come out of the solenoid run through a t off of the t it'll come in two directions and i'll put a valve i'll put a valve in each direction so if you could see something like that the gas will come in this way it'll be solenoid gas through the t and then out in two different directions and i could turn on and off whichever welder i'm going to use so this might be the spool gun this might be the original gun this is for steel this is for aluminum um i might actually draw this up and just take a picture of it, it might help you guys understand better but hopefully i i explained it okay All right, I made up this little bracket here. It's just something I had laying around. I cut a couple V's in the top and I put a little bend on the bottom. <clears throat> now I'm gonna take some quarter inch NPT black pipe and just weld two of them like that. And that's gonna hold the two little ball valves that are gonna switch the argon from either the regular welder, oh, no, I'm sorry, the argon for the spool gun or the argon carbon monoxide mix uh, for the regular steel MIG welder. What I'm gonna do here is take these little eighth inch NPT by eighth inch barbed fittings. Um, <clears throat> and I found two of these, they're quarter inch NPT female on this side and compression fitting threads on this side. So what I'm gonna do, these don't quite fit in there. Um, I could just braise them together the way they are and it wouldn't be that bad, but I'm gonna mount this guy in my lathe. I've got a little collet here and it fits pretty good. It's actually a 730 seconds collet. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, I'm gonna mount that in the lathe, just take a skim cut on the threads, press it in here and solder it together. All right, I got this one set down there it's a little loose this one this one i just got to give it a little tap all righty that should be good to go i'll solder them up and i'll be done all right this one's soldered in already this one i'm going to just clean it up a little bit with the wire brush like that. Give it a little flux and a little solder and we should be good to go. All right, so this is the first mock-up of everything here. Got all my one eighth, one eighth inch uh, airlines connected. I got the original Euro, comes down, goes through this ball valve secondary ball valve goes to a spool gun solenoid comes up right angle down into this t around i might remake this with some right angle t's or maybe change out some of the pipe threads in the future um i don't really love it it's kind of rubbing against this spool also but it'll definitely work for now i'm just gonna give this a couple of tack welds down on the bottom and then I got to get out some pipe tape uh, for these NPT fittings, but it's good enough for now. So we have the double pole, double throw switch here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to mount it right here. I'll drill a hole and uh, I have plenty of room on top of the motor, as you can see. And I think I could get the blue on the drive motor here. I'm gonna run that up to the center of the switch and then I'll run one back to the original motor and one through my new Euro connector. Um, 
these two leads. Uh, the black, I'll ground the black, and I'll run from the switch, right here on the switch, to the green, and power that. So basically, you flip it one way to run the spool gun, flip it the other way, and you run the original MIG, put it in the middle, and everything's off. Okay, I got my toggle switch hooked up just temporarily for now. I'm going to have to pull it back off to make some more connections. But I just want to show you guys how I got it back to just the original, the original uh, MIG welder for now. So I have my double pole, double throw switch. My two white wires coming off of it, if you could see there, are for my solenoid. And I'm sorry, one is for the solenoid and one is for my drive motor. Uh, both of the blue feeds to the center of the switch. When I flip this switch in this direction, it'll now energize both of those. As long as my power is on, when I pull the trigger here, okay, that's back to original. Solenoid is clicking on and off. So now I have my argon mix 7525 um, argon carbon dioxide set up to MIG weld steel. This welder is now back to the way it was made. Um, I have this line, as you can see here, going up through the original gun, and I have this line for gas closed. So we're back to how we started. Next up, I'm gonna take these wires from my new Euro connector that are gonna go to the spool gun, and I'm gonna take the two wires that I made, uh, my own connections coming out of the end of the line, I'm going to feed them through this little grommet I have here. I connect the Euro connector, feed those through the grommet, run them inside, and I'm gonna connect one to each side of the double pole, double throw switch, and I'm gonna ground the other side of each of them. Now, this will control either, this way will be spool gun, gas solenoid, and the drive mechanism on the spool gun, center is off. This direction is back to original MIG. So it'll be this drive roller, always the same solenoid, guys. Um, that doesn't change. We're changing it here manually. So when I go to spool gun, I need to come here. This isn't bolted in yet, but hopefully I could turn these. I need to shut this one, and I need to open that one. That now will redirect the gas flow through the lower Euro connector and to the spool gun. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, next up is to connect this big plate with the end on my spool gun down here. Um, the way that the original MIG comes in, it's bolted solid to this steel plate. This steel plate has a much bigger cable coming to it, which I believe is the power, and then it feeds off of it with 24 volts uh, to run the motor and run the solenoid valve, etc. cetera. Um, so I don't wanna mess, you know, I don't wanna re-engineer this whole thing. I'm just gonna make up a bracket to go from the original 24 volt plate down to, to my uh, spool gun. And what that's gonna do is, you can see right now, when I move this, this thing is kind of sliding all over the place. This plastic is keeping it isolated from the housing. And then on the inside, I'm gonna make up a piece of plate. What I did was I cut some cardboard and then in a weird like kind of freaky looking L shaped thing. Um, and I'm just going to bolt it. I'll drill a couple holes, bolt it to here, have it go across and I'll screw uh, it's like a 7 16th hole I need to drill in it, and I'll just bolt that to the stem coming off of the spool gun. I found this plate. Uh, seems to be just about the same thickness. I got some brazing on here that I just need to grind off. Um, I traced this on here. I wanted to just add a little extra length um, to bolt to here. I'll probably put, you know, like two three-eighths uh, bolts through there, and that should be good. All right, I got the plate cut out, left a little extra, like I said. 
I marked my bend lines here. And like I said before, this is my crazy looking piece here. Um, what's great about cardboard is you could just straighten it out and mark your bends. Now, I'm gonna take this. I do have a hydraulic press, but I don't really have a great 90 degree um, bending jig for it. So I'm actually just gonna mount this in the big vise on my bridge port and bend it with a hammer. Got a little ahead of myself here, guys. Um, you can see I made a mistake there on the first one. The second one, I think I have it now. Um, I'm going to drill this hole first. Uh, and these are the jam nuts. I found the drill bit that fits this pretty good. I'm going to drill that out first while I can mount this nice and flat in my drill press. I always tell you guys, try to do whatever cutting and drilling you can while the part is still easily held somehow. Um, once I make these bends, it's going to be awkward and things are sticking up. So I don't want to mess with any of that. I'm going to try to drill this hole first, then I'll make the bends. So I just clamped a one, two, three block in the vise. I have it about one inch down, a little less than my dotted line for the bend. And then just line that up. And I definitely started bending this in the wrong direction before guys. And I had to just switch up my setup. So pay attention to what it's supposed to look like. You know, use the cardboard to match it up. Um, that's what it's gonna finish like. So this needs to come to me all right guys so i could not possibly be happier with how this bracket came out um you can see my stud right there that i'm trying to fit this on i have the nut adjusted approximately where it's going to go you know i have some uh, lock washer i'll probably put on there um the only thing that was slightly in the way was this extra little uh spade connector here on the solenoid valve which is not in use I just pushed that in and this wire, unfortunately I put a right angle connector on it. I might change this out to be a straight one, but for now it works, so I'm gonna leave it. Um, and this, you know, I gave you guys some advice on drilling the holes, but I didn't really take it myself. I just wasn't really sure where these holes were gonna end up, so. But as you can see, if I could do this correctly, that slides over there. That bolts on like that. We clear the wires. We clear everything on the bottom. And now that it transfer power to the spool gun, it'll hold the front connector where we need it to be, and it'll hold the real tail, the rear tail section uh, in place. So I think that should be good. Now I'm just gonna drill one, two holes. I'll drill through my bracket first. Come back, mark the steel plate on the MIG, drill that, and bolt it on.